Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Feature Studio and today a quick video to share with you that Shine logo and text effect that we just added to our Starter Pack. So if you're ready, let's check it out. Right, you can download the free starter pack by clicking the link in the description below. Once you've done so, you'll get this zip file. Just double click on it to unzip it. It will give you this folder. In the folder, you have a couple of things. You have the license, the installation instruction, the DRFX file, and the font. Please make sure to install all the font, otherwise the title will not work because DaVinci will not know what font to replace it with. So just select all the font and then double click on them to start the installation process. Or you can copy and paste them into your font folder, either on your Mac or on your Windows computer. But if you already have the free starter pack installed and that's just an update, there is no need to reinstall the font. Just install the TRFX file and that will be good. So once that's done, you can just double click here on the TRFX file. It will prompt open this window. If you already have the free starter pack installed and that's just an update, it will ask you to overwrite. And if that's the first time, it will ask you to install. So just click either one of those. And now let's jump inside of DaVinci Resolve. All right, so once in DaVinci Resolve, you can go over to Effect, then Title, Video Studio, and then you can just scroll down to Free Starter Pack, and you will be able to find it in Essential. Then here you will find Text and Logo Shine. You can then just drag that into your timeline. Right now, let's play it. So we get our continuous animation right here. Right now, I'm playing at 30 FPS, so I have no issue with the playback. But because there is a continuous animation, if your system is not very fast, you may have some issue to play it back right away. So I would suggest to go over to playback, go to render cache, and then here set the render cache to smart. It will just prompt open that bar right here. And basically when the bar turns from red to blue, that means that your title has been cached and you will be able to play at real time playback without any issue. So I would suggest to always uh, leave your render cache in smart. That will allow you to cache in in the background your title so you can get real-time playback and have no issue with that. Now let's move on with the functionality. So here you can easily extend or reduce the title without an issue. You will retain the animation in and the animation out. Right now let's move on to the inspector and check the functionality available in this title. The first one is here the animation length in second. So by default it's four second. That means that here the shine is taking four seconds to go through the entire text. You can just change that and make it faster. So here, for example, we can make it two seconds. And now uh, if we play it, as you can see, the shine is just going through a lot faster. Now by default, it's a text, but we can switch it to a logo. And now you will have a logo instead with the same animation and the same shine. You can customize that logo and I'm gonna share that with you in a second here in the dropdown. Right now by default, we have a logo of DaVinci Resolve, but you can easily switch that by going over to logo right here, browse, and then here you can just drop whatever logo you want and it will be replaced right there. So now we have Filiza Studio and we have the shine going through it. You have a toggle on and off for the animation in and for the animation out. So right now, if you don't want to have any animation out or any animation in, you can just put it off. And now, as you can see, you will have not the animation in, but you will still have the shine. So that's just one way to have only the shine without uh, the animation in and out. You can also change those animations. For example, if you want to have a fade, you can just pull those bar right here. And now you will have a fade animation instead of that pop-up animation that we had before. Here you also have access to the animation curve for the shine. Right now it's at none, but for example, if you want to have a bounce, you will have a bounce on the animation of the shine. But I will recommend to just leave everything at none. We just leave it there if you want to play around with the timing of the shine. Now let's move on to the drop down. So we've checked together the logo right now, then we have the size and position. So you can adjust the overall size and the position of the logo or the text. You know, you can switch at any moment back to the text uh, if you wish. That's what we're gonna do right now because then the next one is text. So here we can switch to writing video editor studio, for example. One thing to keep in mind is that right here with the size and position, we've reduced the overall size and position of the original frame. So right now, 
text is crop. So let's just resize and recenter everything. And we're going to adjust the size through uh, this right here. So we don't get a crop on the edges. So right now I can just double click on the parameter to reset it to the default value. We're going to reduce or size text right there. And now we'll be able to just displace again the text without any issue. You can adjust the font, you can adjust the tracking and the line spacing as well as the color of that text. Then the next drop down is going to be the shine control. So here, if we go where the animation is happening, we can just see that we can adjust the shine softness. So that will basically be the spread of that shine. The more you reduce it, the more you will have like a line coming through. And the more you extend it, the more the shine is going to be spread throughout the title. So you can just play around with that. You can play around also with the width of the shine. So right now, the larger the shine is, as you can see, the more space it's taking when it's coming across the text. So that can be good, for example, when you have a longer text like this one to extend a bit the shine softness and to extend a bit the shine width. You can also adjust the color of that shine right here. And then moving on to the next drop down, we have the shadow. So that's to help make your text stand out. Right now, if we were to just bring some footage, for example, right here, as you can see, we have basically a shadow behind that text. We can adjust the shadow strength. So right now, if I increase that, we have something that is stronger. And if I decrease it, we have something that is a bit more subtle. And then we can play around with the drop angle. So that will be the angle of the shadow. Then we have the drop distance. So that will be the distance between the text and the shadow. So here, if you decrease that, basically the shadow can be right behind the text and you increase it, which give it a bit of a 3D effect look. Now let's move on to the glow. So here you can add some glow. We can increase the gain and increase the threshold and play around with the glow size to have a more diffuse glow. And the blend will control the overall intensity of the effect. One thing to keep in mind is that the glow and shadow generally don't work very, very well together. So I will generally choose one or the other. If I were to use the glow, I would probably uh, just reduce the shadow strength to zero and focus mostly on having the glow. Because in my opinion, they are not really working well um, in combination with each other. And then the last one here is the background. So here the background by default, the opacity is set at zero and you can just increase that to one if you want to have a solid background. So here we have a solid black background, uh, but you can just decrease it as well slightly just to make your title pop. The background is also animated with like a slight fade in. You can choose to remove that animation and having it on screen right away. And you can also make some adjustment here to the position. So for example, you have here the background taking all the space and we don't want it to affect our entire uh, footage. So we're just going to put it down right now and it's just going to affect only the bottom of all footage. And now it's also kind of giving a different vibe to the overall title. So you can just play around with that. You can play around with uh, softening the edges. We can here increase, for example, the width. So it takes the entire screen like so. And then here, increasing the soft edge a bit more. And we will have, you know, a gradual kind of filter right here. Anyway, I hope this video was helpful. Please let me know in a comment what kind of video you would like us to make next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates built only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack that contains over 150 elements. Link in the description below or at videodetailstudio.com.